Hello and welcome to Kyala Gray Market, our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USD. And we are having some terrible connection issues at my end for the last couple of days. So I'm recording this and uploading it in a 10 minute span. So our um, objective today is to uh, uh, figure out Nifty, Bank Nifty and USD and our movements and form an informed opinion on where the market is likely to go. <coughs> right. So as usual, we'll start off with analysis of the chart. And the first chart we'll look at is nifty chart right now this is the nifty chart so there are a lot of conflicting forces at play in nifty which is one <clears throat> there is a bullish harami a confirmation candle to that therefore nifty is likely to open gap up tomorrow but there is a gap fill here so anywhere after this point nifty is likely to meet with stiff resistance why because there's a gap fill here there is a horizontal resistance here and very soon we are inching close to the top of the channel all of these are going to be resistance points and let's not forget that we are still in this downward trending channel right so nifty is very mixed um, <clears throat> there is a point possibility that tomorrow there will be one more up move because this is the bullish harami this is a confirmation candle it has broken three moving averages and maybe there is one more up move all the way till here mostly powered by what is happening in reliance but after this point we have to really wait and watch to do what nifty says so chart is kind of indecisive so let's look at the second data point which is the option chain now in option chain uh, we can see that it's evenly split right uh, the option chain there is resistance at 17500 there is support at 17000 levels but in between there is nothing but recent activity there have been call writing put writing everything so option chain says 17500 is a resistance it also says 17000 is a support it also says there is nothing in between PCR is 1.1 which is high which is bullish but that PCR mostly comes from the strikes below so it's kind of indecisive uh, 17500 of course the resistance no questions asked and in recent past it has been mostly a put writing story and not a call writing story although even today 17500 saw healthy call writing right so let's write down all of that now and we'll move to FIA data now overall FIA data there are more puts than calls but the gap between calls and puts is narrowing although not so much right there are 2x the number of uh, puts as calls and today they bought calls but they also bought puts right buy call buy put net net of course you know more uh, calls than puts but we can't ignore the fact that today there was around 11,000 quantity put buying right and finally futures data is neutral stock data is 700 crore sell the verdict is that okay the verdict is very important there are many things here at play right one is of course on daily we showed bullish momentum now because tomorrow is the last day of the week we also have to look at the weekly candle now weekly candle is this this is kind of a bullish hammer but tomorrow if it goes even more up then the hammer is not perfect so ironic as it may seem tomorrow if market is neutral or slightly lower then the weekly candle is a strong bullish hammer but tomorrow if market goes up and closes strong then the weekly candle is actually not so strong because it's not a perfect bullish hammer right so interesting twist there on short term versus long term a short term, a weakness tomorrow or neutrality tomorrow would make this a nice hammer but strong up move tomorrow will not make it a nice hammer uh, and even in monthlies you can see that it's forming a sort of negative candle here which is a hanging man bar dragonfly negative doji of course if the you know month closes negative if the month closes positive the, which is open is higher than close sorry close is higher than open then the candle will change so monthly forming harami sorry hanging man you can also call it harami because it's inside the bread is inside the greens body so tomorrow's close becomes important right in the sense that I would be very positive about the market if tomorrow we get a perfectly formed hammer. I would be somewhat pessimistic about the hammer if tomorrow it goes up and closes at this point 17500 level in which case it is not a perfect hammer but there is a gap fill right 
and monthly may of course there is hanging man forming that we can only confirm at the end of the month but here's the catch uh, there are multiple things which are in conflict with each other so i'm not very happy being directionally having a strong view in this market now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty is still in this downward sloping channel but now it is going and squarely sitting on three resistances which is 50 100 and 200 dma ka confluence this is supposed to uh, act as some resistance but even if it breaks out of this zone right it has an immediate resistance zone coming in another 700 odd points which is two percent up so even bank nifty is in a very tricky situation in the sense that see you might be tempted to say ki there are three resistance let us short but today there was no rejection wick so it's not like it's an obvious shot right because if it was such an obvious shot today we would have seen negative price action but we did not see negative price action and nifty broke 50 and 100 dma both today so i am not very sure about short shorting bank nifty either i'll wait and watch if it i mean ideally i would short here if there's negative price action by here i mean the top of this channel somewhere around 37 700 levels maybe i'll short if tomorrow there is negative price action and uh, it closes below the three day, daily moving average but the problem is if tomorrow there's negative price action in bank nifty and it affects nifty then nifty becomes a strong bullish in hammer so like at some point right we have to approach market ki boss mere ko samajh bhi nahi aa raha kya ho raha and this is one of those moments when you can perfectly take this call especially because every single data point is saying something else so the chart is positive weekly chart the monthly chart is somewhat negative the daily chart tomorrow says for sure there's a gap up the daily chart says there's a gap fill bank nifty daily chart says that <laughs> there are three moving averages which are coming and uh, as a resistance but daily chart also says that today there was no rejection Again, weekly chart, right? Weekly chart is a dragonfly doji, which is slightly positive. So tomorrow, if Bank Nifty closes up, let's say around 37,000 odd levels, then this becomes a bullish hammer, in which case you should go long. But tomorrow, if Bank Nifty closes down, then it becomes a uh, red candle, which is a doji, in which case it's not a long. Now, the point is, can there be a scenario in which Bank Nifty is negative and Nifty is positive? Yes, if any index majors outside Bank Nifty pulls nifty up and there is one scenario like that playing out now reliance is single-handedly pulling up nifty uh, so if reliance really gives a huge move and nifty moves because of that and bank nifty goes down then we can have a scenario in which bank nifty is weak nifty went up bank nifty forms a doji giving way to shorting and at this point if reliance retraces then bank nifty weakness reliance weakness everything can pull down nifty so basically i am in a wait and watch mode simply because i don't want to gamble right now uh, i mean I, I just don't want to gamble right now right so let's look at dollar also dollar actually right is again very complex two days back you would have thought dollar is going in uptrend because this was a bullish engulfing candle but again it came down now the problem is this right this horizontal level is something in which dollar has given multiple consolidations so i am very tempted to say that there is a support here because you can see this right dollar has always taken multiple bounces somewhere around this level so i would be slightly long on the dollar at this stage in fact i am long on the dollar at this stage uh, i initiated today at 76 18 levels on futures but so now the problem is this uh, dollar is looking like it has found some kind of a short term support nifty looks strong but that is mostly courtesy reliance bank nifty looks weak because there are three daily moving averages but if they are taken out then it can go up but the upside could be limited to only around 700 points because there is this channel top here so let me put it this way right tomorrow if there is major negative sentiment in bank nifty and nifty gives an imperfectly formed bullish hammer then next week i might be short simply because uh, you know uh, an imperfectly formed bullish hammer at a gap fill level is a comfortable place to short but i won't want to go long against a perfectly formed bullish hammer so tomorrow if nifty is neutral or slightly weak slightly weak not mega weak because in mega weak scenario this will form a doji but that we are talking almost about a 100 200 odd point move so let's look at all the scenarios once again right tomorrow nifty flat closes flat or slightly negative bullish hammer formed on weekly market is a buy tomorrow if nifty goes down 200 points 
then uh, doji formed on weekly nifty becoming weak then it's an absolute short tomorrow if market goes up and closes then it is not a long uh, in, in fact it could be a short because the gap fill has happened and we don't have a strong bullish candle right and if that is supported by weakness in bank nifty then we could look at a very negative week next week right uh, so this is my read and all of this gets a little bit of flavor from the fact that usd is also looking a little weak so this is my read on the market for today uh, uh, hopefully by next week we'll fix all the internet issues here i mean there's no internet issue as such it's just that the streaming software i use is acting up weird with the internet i have so uh, but i mean i don't think we are very late on the uh, you know uh, uh, we are we are having a very delayed broadcast it's almost 9 10 by 9 20 this will be up on youtube so thanks guys again for joining we'll see you again next week with better internet and uh, much more regular uh Kiala Grand market thanks uh, for joining we'll see you again tomorrow please have a great week trading and uh, as usual keep your capital safe and take care bye